welcome to my new studio. It looks like absolute crap right now. This wall has only had one coat of paint and this window is absolutely horrible. <laughs> um, but we will fix this so that we can have something nice in the background for the future. Um, otherwise I think we should just get going on the pattern. We will start at the top with the collar, so we will cast on for the collar and then we will start doing the raglan increases, so we will get to around here today, so underneath the arm, and next time we will split for the body and the sleeves. For this pattern we really should be using Grubs Baby Merino. It produces a very, very soft, very thin fabric on these 3mm uh, needles. But it would be very, way too small for you to see on the video. So instead we are using this. This is also a merino yarn but with a little bit of nylon in it and it's huge. So I hope you'll be able to see that. I am also using these Knit Pro needles in 6mm. Um, so if you, if you use this yarn and these needles you are going to get a completely wrong size and it might be like an adult size. So don't do that. Do what is what is in the pattern, and that is the uh, drops baby merino and the three millimeter needles. Um, I'm also going to be using circulars. I almost always knit on. Oh, I need a key. I almost always knit on circulars, anyways, um, because I think it's uh, nicer for my elbows and it doesn't make my uh, straights make my back and my um, uh, neck hurt. Um, but if you want to use straights, you can you can do that. We're gonna be working back and forth, so there's no there's no actual need for uh, the circular needles. I just yeah, I really prefer it. It also sort of uh, you can see what you're doing in the with the increases on this, uh, and you can't really you can, but it's just gonna be buckling uh, where you have decreased or increased. Sorry, um, so. It's not necessary, but <laughs> I think it, it makes a difference. And if you're someone who, ha who has trouble with pain when you are knitting, I think trying to switch to circulars, I mean, it, it, it's very little investment, right? Or These needles are a big investment, but normal circular needle is not a big investment. So you can, you can try that if you have, a tr if you have trouble in that department. So here we are, we have our needles and we have the yarn. And I'm just going to be taking a long tail here. And I'm going to be doing a long tail cast on. Um, so first I will make a knot here. And then I am inserting my thumb and my um, this this finger <laughs> into here. I have this is the tail and this goes to the ball. So here and then pull back and I'm going to be grabbing both of those yarns and then I'll be casting on. This is called a long tail cast on. You just go under here with the thumb, not this one, but the outer, and then you go over, grab this piece of yarn, and you pull it in between the loop that you have around your thumb. You release with your thumb and then make a little knot there. So we're going to be continuing casting on for as long as it says. Okay, so I've just cast on some number of stitches and now we're going to go and do a rib. So I will knit two, so one and two, and then I will purl two. One and two. Now I'm going to complete, <laughs> I am going to repeat that all the way down. And I will make, um, well, the number of rows that are in the pattern, but it's going to be uh, somewhere between between three and six. That was three rows of ribbing. And I'm thinking now actually that I need to do one in chunk yarn too, because this is actually pretty nice. <laughs> um, so in the pattern, there is a description of what you need to do, and I'm just going to do it for this piece of just um, done some some uh, stitch uh, 
count on it. And it might turn out nice, I don't know, but it's it's not the proper way or <laughs> it's not going to give you the proportion that you want for your thing. So we've been working in ribbing, so knits and pearls, but now we're going to do just knits, um, at least on the front. And then we're just going to do pearls on the back. So I have calculated that I need 12 here, so 5, 6, 7, 8. And 12. Then I need to do <laughs> this, and I need to do it every time. I need to increase one. So you do that by picking up the yarn between this stitch and the next stitch, and you put the left needle underneath. So now we've hung this piece of yarn, which wasn't the stitch before, and you're going to insert your right needle in here and knit this new stitch. So we've now made a make one. Now normally there would be a stitch marker here, but on this round we're going to place it. So it would be like this normally, then you would make one and you would slip your yarn marker. Then you knit one and then we're going to make one the other way, so left this time. So again we're going to insert our needle and pull up this piece of yarn underneath and this time we are going to insert the left needle from the front, so this way. So I'm going from the front in and hanging that. And you know you've done it correctly if there's a long piece of yarn in the front and a short piece in the back. So it's sort of the, it's closer to the knot on the back. Then you go in um, through the short piece here. So you go in to do a twisted stitch um, and then you knit that too. So we have now increased one before the marker, then we've knit one and then we've increased one on the other side of this. And this is going to look like this. So we're going to get a center stitch here, that's the one that we knitted, and then we're going to get increases, they sort of pull away here, and you're going to get increases on the other side, they're going to pull away the other way. And this will create our sleeves. So now I'm going to knit over the sleeve here. It doesn't look like anything right now, but it will. <laughs> so I'm, I will knit eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, there would be a yarn marker here. On the next round, on the next um, front side row, we're not working in rounds, the next <laughs> row, we are going to have a stitch marker here because we've placed it. So what we're going to do when we hit a marker is that we pick up that yarn here. Am I in focus? Here we are. We pick up this yarn with the right needle, then we go from the back into that stitch, which is now a stitch, which before was just a piece of yarn, in our knitting. Then we're going to go in as normal here, and we're going to knit it. The tighter this stitch is, the better it's, it's going to look. Then we're going to slip the marker, knit one. And then we're going to also pick up a piece of yarn in between here. So you can see here that they sit here as a sort of ladder. So we in insert the right needle, then we go from underneath and break that stitch on the left needle. Then we're going to go in as if to do a twisted knit, and then we're going to knit this. Or knit through the back loop? I'm not sure. but. Do what I'm showing you, I might be using the wrong terminology. <laughs> then I have a knit 22, so one and two, and then one and two. This is going to be the back, so this is a long piece on the back. So now I have this, it's going to be the front of the cardigan, this is going to be the sleeve, and this is going to be the back. And it's okay that it's really tight right now because it's going to be the collar. So again, 
on every other row than this one, there will be a marker here. So we'll start by placing a marker on the left needle, pick up and make one right here, slip the marker, knit one, pick up one stitch, or sorry, uh, pick the stitch up from <clears throat> between these two stitches here, and do a make one left, just like we did on the others. And you can also see here that it's if you want to count, if you had 22 here, you'd have to add two because you have your knit one and your make one here. So on the back now, I actually have, and I have a make one here too. So I have 22 plus three because I have um, one, two and three new stitches. Uh, aside from the ones that we counted. So now I'm going to count to eight. And again, that was what I tried to say, <laughs> that this this doesn't count. These are not one and two. These are uh, part of the increase. And now we're going to do eight. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. And as I said, it's going to be different in the pattern. I can't remember exactly what is in there, but it will say what the different parts should be, how many stitches to knit, and you just have to follow that. So I have my last stitch marker. I will place it there. Then I will pick up here and make one right by going into the front of the stitch here, knitting that. Then I will slip my, well, that did not go well because I was looking at the camera. <laughs> I will slip one here, knit one, and then I will make one left. By knitting through the back here. I think that's what it's called. I think if it's twisted, then you would twist the stitches. So I should have 12 left. I don't, I have 13, it's not good, but. <laughs> okay. I will... Uh, I don't have to use this for anything other than just showing you so it doesn't have to be... <laughs> it doesn't have to be all that precise. But it was almost, it was almost right on my counting. <laughs> so after this uh, row, which is actually pretty important, um, we're going to have our piece of ribbing and then we will have four stitch markers. So this is the front of the cardigan, and this is the front of the cardigan. Oh, I'll put it on the table for you. It's like this. So this is the neck opening. I have the front here and the front here. I have two sleeves here and here, and then I have the back here. And oh, I'll show you with this. What we're going to do is, when we're done doing the increases, we will bend this. And this will be a sleeve, and this will be the front. This looks a little bit more like a, a cardigan now. So at some point we're going to do that, but right now we're doing the yoke of this. So I will show you what we will do when we come back to this. But before we do that, of course, we need to do the wrong side row. And it's really easy. You just purl all the stitches. When you get to the um, stitch marker here, I will just do one to show you. You just knit the new stitches and you just slip your stitch marker. So it should be exactly where it was. Um, so here you can see this is the make one and it looks exactly just like a stitch. Okay, so I am back now at the beginning and this is the row that we're going to repeat a bunch of times. So first knit up till the first yarn marker. So we're just going to knit every stitch. So here we are at the yarn marker and it looks, like I said, it looks like when we did it before. We're going to look at this ladder thing that is here and we're going to pick up the topmost piece of yarn and insert no, this way. We're going to insert 
the left needle from the back. Then we will knit this as normal and now we have made one stitch. Then we will slip the yarn marker, knit one, and then we will go again, look at this uh, ladder here. We will pick it up with the right needle and then insert from the front the left needle and then we will knit it through the back here. And again we have done two increases and a knit one in between those two increases. And then we will knit up to the next stitch. So here we are at the next yarn marker. Stitch marker, sorry, <laughs> stitch marker. And again we are going to put in our left needle from the back and then we will knit that stitch. Looks like that. Slip the yarn marker and knit one. And then we are going to pick up this stitch, insert the needle from the front, and then knit it through the back. And this is a bit more challenging than the other thing, but it's not, it's not too too hard if you can just knit normally. So again we have done two increases and we will continue knitting until the next stitch marker. So here we are again at a stitch marker. We are going to find our stitch here, insert the left needle from the back and knit our new stitch. Slip the yarn marker, knit one. Insert the left needle from the front and knit that stitch through the back. And then we will continue on and knit to the next <laughs> yarn marker, stitch marker. What on earth is a yarn marker and why do I have that in my head? So here we are at the next stitch marker. Again, we will go down and find a piece of yarn here. Insert the left needle from the back and knit it. Slip the stitch marker, knit one. And then we will go and find this and insert the left needle from the front. Here we are. <laughs> and we will knit that through the back. And dropping a stitch here is not a part of the pattern. So we'll just, here we are. So here we are back at the beginning and again now we're just going to purl the um, wrong side rows and we should start to see that this is going to curl in on itself. So this is where we're at when we have completed all of the rounds. As you can see we have now have a yoke. This is not the correct size, it's not the correct yarn, yada yada yada. But it's going to look somewhat like this, but with uh, smaller stitches. You're going to have four of these rows of... It's basically holes, but it looks like an, a, um, a raised stitch. And then you're going to have increases on each side, on either side. Um, and as I said, you're going to have four. So one here, one there, and two on the back. And just to orient ourselves, we of course have two sleeves here. One here and one there. We're going to have the front here of this cardigan thing and then we're going to have a back piece here which is the long one. So, see you next week where we're going to do the body and the sleeves. Thank you so so much for watching. If you want to see the rest of this pattern you can click the red button and subscribe and have a nice day.